I don't want to beat this to death, but again, it is. Uh, what do we do about it? Because I totally agree with you. What, yeah. what, what do we do when the whole the bulk of the industry wants that kind of product? I call it product acting. It is, yeah. It's exactly. a product acting, and Absolutely. you walk in, don't come in with yourself. Come in yeah. with a product, and yeah. it's you know short, young, fat, tall, beautiful. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, the, the hit, you know. as they used to say. Yeah, the hit. What's your hit? What is a young artist actor to do? Buy into it or change it. If you want, to, you want to do this work. You want to do what I'm setting before you, you want to come into this business because of a passion that you have to change people's perceptions, let's do this together. And never mind what the industry is demanding. You go that way and that is the way of death. Nothing makes me more proud than to see my graduates going out into the world and creating their own work under their own circumstances and saying what they want to say. They form their own little theater companies and they are all over the fringes and all kinds of places. That's what I do, that's my reward. I go and see my people doing their work year after year after year. And they will change, I think the industry, as far as the industry that they want to work in is concerned. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can change a huge machine. That's, that's, that's industry driven. That's, a, that's a, a, a megalith. That won't be changed by us. But I'm, I, would, I say quite frequently, if that's what you want, go forth. <laughs> you don't need me. You don't need what we're doing here. We are wasting your time. If that is what you want to do, then just go and do it. Enjoy yourself and get, get wealthy. But I can't help you with that. I've got nothing to offer you right. for that. On that subtle line between truth and naturalism, um, there, is there not a place where truth and naturalism do actually line up? I, rem I remember in uh, Mel Brooks' film Hamlet, mm -hmm. and I remember Paul Schofield as the ghost, yeah. and I remember that Paul Schofield as a ghost sat against a stone wall, did not move for any of it, and just spoke into the camera. Mm -hmm. It was both utterly naturalistic and unerringly truthful. That, that's the thing that I remember yeah. from the movie. So there is a place where naturalism and truthfulness line up, is there not? If it's Paul Schofield speaking, <laughs> that's a very different thing from somebody else doing it, that exact same piece, that exact same way. But you've got to have all of that immense experience and emotional power that Paul Schofield has in his little finger. That comes from all those years and years of playing the great roles that's a distillation of everything that Paul Schofield's career has been. It may seem nothing but sitting and speaking, but it's the whole of his creative life behind him that is in every syllable of that speech. And how is he connecting to that past experience? Uh, he doesn't have to connect to it. It's in him. It's, <laughs> uh, it's there. It's speaking through him. It's what he has become in his life of, of, of working like that. He is who he is. When he speaks with that amazing voice and that intense concentration, his whole creative life is there in front so of So there's him. two conditions you just described to me, focus yeah. and connection. Absolutely. And is that not something that we work with young actors on? Explicitly and eternally. <laughs> 